Good morning. Over the years, I have heard a lot of put-downs uh, regarding preaching. And unfortunately, even most of these put-downs come from professing Christians. Sometimes it is not very serious. Sometimes they will say things like, well, I didn't mean to preach at you, or something like that. Sometimes, though, it is very serious. And these feel like, well, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to preach at people. Oh, this guy really preaches at some, and it's just a turnoff. I don't think we should do that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so, I just wanted to to uh, take a few minutes here to show what the Bible says about preaching, and we should never make any apologies for preaching. We need simply to speak what the Holy Spirit has given us to say, and leave the reckoning to God. But the Bible has an awful lot to say about this. Uh, for example, I looked at this and I have the advantage of a Strong's Concordance, which gives us the King James references. I looked up that in the Old Testament, preaching is used. This is uh, the word preach, preaching, preached, preacher, you know, derivatives of the word preach. In the Old Testament, we actually find it 12 times. In the Gospels and the Book of Acts, we find it 68 times. 38 times of those are in the book of Acts, which in a way makes sense because the disciples were going forth spreading the gospel. But there are also 65 times in the New Testament epistles, that is, the letters. This includes one time in Revelation, even near the end, as the angel is still going and preaching the everlasting gospel, last call to mankind. And so in total, there are 145 times in Scripture where, this, uh, where the preach derivative is used. Now, I'm not going to go over all of those. I do have a link. Uh, uh, I shouldn't say a link. Pardon me. In the description, I have a list of different scriptures with preach derivatives in them. But you may look them up yourselves in a, in a concordance. Of course, this is all from the King James Bible. Uh, but just to show you the importance of this, I want to read you a couple, a couple very important uh, scriptures. We look at we look at Romans chapter 10, 13 through 15. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how they shall how shall they believe on him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad, glad tidings of good things. So you see here, once again, it's the start of whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And it shows the importance of preaching for the message of salvation. But then I want you to hear this also from 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Uh, I have it here. It is verse 17 through 19. And then I've just skipped verse 20 and gone to 21. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us who are saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Now, verse 20 is just more of the same, expounding on that. And then 21, For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God, but it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So we see something here that is, uh, to me, uh, is a little concerning when it says that the preaching of the cross is foolishness, that it is foolishness, uh, to those who are perishing. And so if someone is saying, you know, that they think preaching is foolishness, what does that indicate about their relationship with the Lord? Of course, there are many who ridicule preaching that don't know the Lord, but I'm very concerned when I hear Christians kind of berating it, even though many times it is in uh, not an extremely offensive way. And certainly we all say things uh, that we shouldn't. But we will give an account of every idle word that we speak. So please don't make, uh, don't make apologies for preaching. After all, 2 Timothy 4.2 says, Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. 
So don't be afraid to preach, brethren. May God bless.